Up next is Leticia Colon de Mejas, founder and CEO of Energy Efficiency Solutions and president of Green Eco Warriors in Connecticut. Hi, thank you for having me here today. It's an honor to be here. Hopefully you all can hear me. I'm Leticia Colon de Mejias. I'm an entrepreneur, small business owner, awarded workforce development consultant, building scientist, and policy co-chair for the Building Performance Association of America. I'm also the state commissioner for Latino and Puerto Rican affairs on equity and opportunity. But above all, I am a mother, wife, sister, community member, and American. I'm a warrior for my people. It has never been more important for us to stand together and ensure the national plans to transition to 100% clean energy are equitable and inclusive. And the Renew Agenda does just this. For far too long, low-income communities and communities of color have lacked equal access and support to programs which would ensure their ability to live in resilient, safe, energy-efficient housing. In Connecticut, this has left over 400 households unable to afford their energy bills and have left communities of color with high levels of asthma and health impacts, which are directly related to our energy generation, heating and heating and cooling of buildings, businesses, and houses. Over 30% of low to moderate income housing in my state have one or more health barriers, such as asbestos, mold, vermiculite, gas leaks, HVAC failures. And these indoor health barriers keep them from being able to upgrade their homes properly to create the resilient communities they need to survive and thrive. Therefore, we must commit to drying down energy waste and carbon emissions beginning at home. For it is still true that home is where the heart is and all roads lead to home. And without a safe climate controlled shelter, people are literally left outside and in the cold. And as our climate warms, the increased heat index has begun to cause health concerns for our most vulnerable populations, the elderly, children, communities of color, which have historically been left behind and the medically challenged. It is our responsibility as fellow Americans to ensure that they have a safe place to shelter, a place to call home, and a place where they can learn, rest, eat, and play safely. Shelter, clean air, water, safe food, decent public education, and good jobs are our most basic needs. These needs must be met as our first priority. The Renew Agenda will work closely to close the gaps, and literally and figuratively. In Connecticut, SB 356 would allow the Department of Housing to establish an energy efficiency retrofit program and would create an inclusive path for communities who have been historically left behind to have access to resources to help them adapt to climate change and help them not struggle any longer with inability to access energy efficiency, safe, affordable, resilient housing. This would also expand local jobs and opportunities for people to work in these programs in the clean energy and energy efficiency sector. In the state of Connecticut, prior to the pandemic, there were over 34,000 energy efficiency jobs. And these grants would be awarded for the installation of energy efficient upgrades and rooftop solar, as well as heat pumps, balanced ventilation, and devices to mitigate gas leaks, mold, vermiculite, and asbestos. The grants would be prioritized to upgrade affordable housing with families with a cumulative income less than 50,000 and has specific goals for percentage of, of efficiency upgrades leading to 5% in the first year, 10% in 2024, and a total of 35% by 2025. Drawing down emissions through building retrofits and science-based approaches is the least expensive way to lower carbon emissions and has the most benefits to humans and the planet we live on. Because as it draws down cost and pollution, it also creates positive outcomes like local jobs and increased positive health outcomes. As a woman of color, as a mother, as a small business owner, and as a warrior for the people and the planet, I call on our leaders to take action to support this bill, for there is no better time than now. Our choices are like pebbles thrown in a pond that will create lip ripples beyond our vision today, changing the future forever. Thank you for allowing me to speak today. Thank you so much, Leticia. Your, your passion and your words have almost reignited the fire that was already inside of me, and I'm sure many others on this call.